Hi, this is Newbie 5 and this is going to be what is hopefully a feature showcase of the upcoming Baker Cone 1.7. Um, we're pretty sure that we're about there. There's not a huge ton of updates, uh, but there's some nice ones that hopefully people are going to like. So we're going to jump right in. The first thing is the default system partition size is going to be changed by default. Uh, from 125 to 155 megabytes, which is going to allow us a lot more space, a lot more wiggle room for building the ROM in the future, and it's going to mean that we're not going to have to push things into data instead of having them in the system partition. So everything's going to be in the right place, and people can't accidentally delete apps. So now that that's in, that's allowed us to do a couple of things. Um, one of the things that has been done is so the browser's been edited. It was peeing me off that the Asus page was the default web page, so the, um, the default browser has been edited so that it's uh, defaulting to Google now as standard. We've got a tablet ROMs bookmark in there now as well as standard. Another thing that's changed is the keyboard, the, the nice honeycomb keyboard that everybody likes. If you go into Android keyboard settings and change the autocorrect settings to always show, when we start typing, We have dictionaries. There we go. So default dictionaries have been added back in for English, Italian, Spanish, uh, Dutch, uh, some others. Czech, maybe. I'm not really, not really sure. There's a few that have gone back in there. I'll get a full list and post it when I actually um, when I actually post the ROM online. So a whole bunch of been uh, of language languages have been added back into the default dictionary. So they're all back in, that's nice. A few people have been asking for those. Um, what else have we got? We've got the YouTube app has been re-edited. Um, in 1.6 we edited it so that it lowered the quality of all the videos down so that they would play properly. Um, because the high the high quality videos weren't working. That's been changed because the hack was a little bit messy and the videos were very, very low quality. So what we've got now is, if, we, if I just pick a video, any video doesn't really matter, let's turn this down. There we go, right, so if we make this big now, it's filling the whole screen, it's not just a little blurry box in the middle of the screen, it's filling the whole screen, it's really nice quality, it is actually in high quality mode. So it turned off high quality mode now, it's gone back to low quality. So put it back to high quality mode. There we go. So we have high quality YouTube. It's not it's worth pointing out that it is not 720p or anything like that. We it's again been hacked to reduce the maximum quality down enough so that the software rendering in the Vega will handle it properly with Vega Cone. But it hopefully you'll agree the quality is considerably higher than it was before. And you're probably not going to notice much difference. I mean, that looks pretty damn good, and it's nice and smooth. So we're all good. So really happy about that. So YouTube is basically completely sorted. Right, another thing that we've changed slash added Apple Mobile. This isn't here installed as standard. I don't want to install a um, a different browser as standard. So you'll have to install Opera Mobile. That's not Opera Mini. Opera Mobile from the market. Um, if I launch a Flash website, I have the standard Flash 10.3 from the market installed on this. It is not the hacked version of Flash that we were using before. I'm going to change my settings and just change Opera so it is in. So we're going to change Flash so it's always enabled. I'm going to change the user agent to desktop in Flash. And then we're going to remove the mobile part of iPlayer. So we actually load the proper desktop version. Your phone is not supported. Well, it's not a phone. Oi, you're stupid. I, I've got to say, this isn't my favourite browser in the world, but hopefully. Uh, Oh, I'll push enter. Right, 
So before BBC iPlayer website, for those of you that aren't in the UK, this is one of our TV channels uh, streaming site uses Flash. So let's pick one, pick a video, push play. Let's see what happens. I haven't actually tested this in this build, so I hope it's going to work. There we go. Loads, which it does. There we go. We have flash video in the browser. Good speed, usable, zoomable, and you will notice. Let's just make it bigger. No ghosting. No green bar. No anything crappy. So we have, hopefully, full flash experience. You have to use the Opera Mobile browser at the moment to do this. This will not work in the stock browser. However. The old trick of maximising it in the stock browser should still work fine and you won't have the green bar or the ghosting or anything funny like that. So, uh, any websites that used Flash Video before that weren't working, let's just try YouTube, I haven't actually tested YouTube, it might be a little laggy because of the way that YouTube um, streams videos, but then YouTube app is working now, so that probably doesn't matter that much. So let's pick a video. What are we going to pick? Uh, dogs. There we go. YouTube video. That fella. Seems to be doing pretty good. Make it big. There we go. That's a YouTube video actually running in the browser using Flash. Not that you need to because the YouTube app is all shiny and sexificated now, but there we go. Let's kill that. So, Opera Mobile. Actually not a bad browser when you get used to it. Um, working great with Flash, with no ghosting, with no green bar, with no weirdness. We're rocking on that, so really happy about that as well. So that's another nice thing we've got in there. So YouTube and Flash, we well, another bit. Uh, another thing that has been added back in. This wallpaper you're looking at now, multi-coloured kind of epilepsy arrangement going on, is the default wallpaper because I like it and I like making people bath. If you go to wallpapers, wallpapers here now, I have added back in a nice selection, mixed selection of different wallpapers from different places. So we've got a couple of nice wallpapers that have been picked up from the web, various websites. We've got a couple of wallpapers that have been picked up from the Acer Iconia, a couple from the um, Asus Transformer, one from the Motorola Zoom. We've got a nice little Droid versus Apple wallpaper here. All high resolution, all form formatted properly for Vega, um, for the Vega screen size using Honeycomb. So all of them, if we adjust the screen, fit properly. So people that were worried or upset or missing the default wallpapers or complaining that it crashed because it was crashing uh, when before because they'd all been kind of hackily removed, they're all back in now. Well, a custom set are all back in now and hopefully you're going to like them all. Obviously you can pick your own wallpapers still, but I'm liking the selection we've got in here now, so uh, there we go. Now there's loads of other stuff that I've, got, that I've done as well, probably, that I've completely forgotten. Oh, the um, the 3G fix by Rebel One is in now. That's in by default, so we don't, you don't need to worry about flashing that separately. Um, there's some other stuff that I really can't remember right now, but that's kind of the main bits. So, yeah, there we go. I'll remember the rest of the changelog tomorrow. I haven't written anything down for making this video, so everything will be posted when I post the main uh, the main thread, which will hopefully be tomorrow daytime, if not afternoon. Thanks, guys.